We have come to the ninth day of our novena to St. Matthew the Apostles. And we know one of the things in his gospel, the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 downwards. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be fulfilled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad. For the kingdom of heaven is yours. So I say to you, we stand on this, the beatific truth of Christ in Matthew's gospel. To ask him to intercede for us, for the economy, for the country, and for the whole world. Because everybody is hurting because of this COVID. May the economy of the world get back to its running so that people will have life of their own and once again rejoice in the creation of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God of mercy, you choose a task collector, St. Matthew, to share the dignity of the apostles by his example and prayers. Help us to follow Christ and remain faithful in your service. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear Jesus, as the times in which we live become darker and darker, living by your ways and following you, brands us in such a way that invites persecution and insult, just as it did you. If we live by your ways and love you with our whole being, we live by the light and provide a target for those who do not live by the light. Sinning is what gives most people pleasure, but we can no longer live that way because we are aware of how much you sacrificed for us in love by dying on the cross. For all that you have done for us, we no longer desire to live in the darkness. Each time we receive an insult for belonging to you, please help us to bear it with great patience. Saint Martin. In being given the awesome honor of being chosen to be an apostle, you were persecuted just as Jesus was persecuted. You felt, however, the persecution you experienced was also a great honor, because Jesus was not just a man, but he was indeed God. Help us to be strong enough to love Jesus' light and to run from the darkness of sin. And then, when persecution comes, to be strong enough to handle them as well. And please intercede with Jesus in asking him to grant our desperate request. 
to revive the economy of our nation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Have very full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are the fruit of young Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Have very full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are the fruit of young Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Have very full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are the fruit of young Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, continue to bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. This is the last day of our novena to Saint Matthew. The next novena will be to the archangels. The three archangels we have. Their feast is coming up on the 29th of September. Raphael, Gabriel, and Michael. The three archangels. We will give a little explanation of their names, the power of God, the gift of God, and then we will have our prayers and petition to them. Have a wonderful day.